Hello my friends, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some macro photography with feathers and water droplets to get pictures like this. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to do some pictures like this, like I said, using feathers and water and droplets. It's so simple and so easy, like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to be actually using a bit of long exposure today instead of using a flash. And all I'm going to be using for my backgrounds is this contraption, which I've made here, which all it is is some cheap Christmas lights I found lying about. And what I've done is, I'm, okay, I've gone a bit, oh, a bit far, but I've just got some solder wire and just taped them to the end so I can bend them and move them where I want. But it works. But, also, I found some perspex, some clear perspex, and when I put the clear perspex back a bit, it gives me a nice, now you're not going to see it because it's too bright on the camera, but what this does is actually gives me more reflections and gives me a lovely background, so I'll be using this. Like I said, all it is is a piece of perspex that was actually out of a television. That's another story. And like I said, these are just some Christmas lights that I got from um, a store, a Poundland, should I say. And they're just everyday coloured lights, they're nothing more. And I just like I said, I just put them on some of this just to bend around and it gives me whatever I want. But I'll show you more of that on the back of the camera. So, what will we need? We'll be needing some of these and some feathers these feathers I think could have been off a pheasant but I don't know so it's just some crab feathers that was lying about so I'm going to show you quickly how I prepare these what I do is the feathers like a, you know if you brush them one way they all stick together if you pull them the other way they all open up yeah what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a small section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run, grab it and I'm just going to strip the feather down off it. That's it. I'm going to take all the little bits of it, not all the way, just enough, just to... So we've got something to play with. Like that. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same up here. Just take a little bit off. Not all lower, just enough. And as you can see, it fans out. Beautiful. Now what I'll tend to do is I'll turn it round and just take some off the other side because I, we only need one side of the feather. Now you've got to be careful because this can take some time, you can wait the first time or you can give up. Then what we've got then is our finished thing, our finished subject. Just like that. So what we're going to do then, is we'll get some blue tack. Or modelling clay, whichever one you use. And then we're just going to wrap it round it. To stick it to where we want it. And then, just trim it off. <coughs> nice and gentle. And that is ready now to sit in our fluid. All ready. Pretty simple really, you can do other things on when you ain't got to open up as big, you can open up a soft burn and get some nice really lovely effects, which is golden. So now we've we'll set this up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera up, set the background up, and try and show you the difference with this background and one thing or another. I think you'll enjoy this. Plus I'll explain a bit more about the water droplets as well. Okay, so get ready. Like I said, nothing really special to my setup. All I've got is my screen, the back here, my milk in this on the shallow white plate, my nice Zerzen, 750D with my 100 mm macro lens, and all I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna drop in my subject carefully into the mill, yeah, then I 
can't be focusing on it. You'll see, you'll see the subject as soon as I start putting, when I put it in the milk. Then, this is where the magic happens. What I'm going to do then, is I'm going to get my light, I'm going to place it, I'm going to get this light, yeah, and I'm going to place it back of the screen to get all the colours I want. And then this is where the magic happens, this is where your picture totally changes, which you're going to see in a minute. So there you go. So, piece of pear specs, Christmas lights, Lazy Susan, a plate, some milk in it, or whatever fluid you want. I like say I use milk because I want to get the reflections. And away we, away we go. So, now I'm going to put my subject in to my milk. Let me find one. There we go. Here's one I blew Peter earlier. Right, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to place this carefully into carefully into the milk. All you want to do, like I said, is we need to get the blue tack so it ain't showing. That's the main thing. Now before you even take a shot or before you do anything else Get it all focused the best you can. Because once you start putting the water droplets on, you ain't going to have a lot of time to take the pictures, believe it or not. Because it just doesn't work like that. So let's get this here uh, and show you the back of the camera now. Back up. As you can see on the back of the camera, I've got our subject. Now I'm going to add my water droplets. So what I'm going to do is, what I like I normally do my dandelions, is just keep spraying. But you can't arbor spray these because what happens is is they tend to drop off. So you've got to balance it out. As you can see, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my background round to try and find something else. Different colour, can you see it moving? So let's add a bit of red to that one, I think. See what happens when I add a bit of red. Red and blue. Yeah. Like I say, it's all trial and error moving them around. You can see the water droplets on there, which I'm loving. Might add a few more, I don't know. Shall I, shall I? It's a bit dark, that is, for my liking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and lighten it up. Now what I've done, because I'm on long exposure, well, 0.3, you can see my camera settings there. A third of a second, F16, ISL 100. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lower my F-stop down. Because I think my F-stop can make it just a little bit lighter for me. So I'm going to light it down a bit more. See what that gives me. And there you go. Total different effect again. As you can see, these backgrounds, this electric background, works quite well really for a few Christmas lights. It just shows you what you can do. You haven't got to use expensive, like you get again, we haven't got to use expensive stuff. Just bend them around or drape them over to where, what suits you. And then just keep moving it around and you'll find a balance that suits you. Like so. What you need to do, like I said, is make sure you're focused well in properly because if you don't, you won't get what you want. Next thing is, if I was you, Solid floor, either use shutter release cable on a concrete solid floor or something like that, or two second timer with mirror lock up. You can add a few more water droplets on if you want, but you gotta watch that because sometimes, like it says, Albus spray knees can sometimes ruin it all. So it's a case of trial and error, and you will get what you want. Look, so move them around again. Yeah, I'm just going to put that back on live screen so you can be live view so you can see it. I'm just going to mess around and these backgrounds a little bit more. See what I get. It's all trial and error. All trial and error. Photography, trial and error. That's all I say it is. Don't care who you are. We don't try, we never know. Like I say, it's you get you're getting good images every single time. So let's have a, a round up. 
and have a chat. I hope you've enjoyed today's little bit of a demonstration. It's like it says, different things, feathers, do you know what I mean? If you don't try, you never know. I've been doing it for a bit now, so okay. But it just shows that, like I said, some Christmas lights draped over the top of a piece of plastic sheeting, uh, perspex, can work. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's a rip off, somebody's going to say it's a rip off adapter look, so I don't really care. But it does the trick for what I want, and to be fair, for a pound, I don't really care. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, and the backgrounds are absolutely fantastic. This should help the people that haven't got flashes. And like I say, it does work. I know it works. I've put the picture up. I've proven it works. So we can just have a, have a play around with something like that. I mean, feathers, they make an ideal subject as well because I like them. They're sharp, them, them to the point. You know, it, 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 they, they can look really nice. These warm textures and backgrounds make a l massive difference. I will be working on some other odds and ends, like I says, I haven't finished, I am still working on, like I says, bits and dabs. So, if you really enjoyed what you're watching me once again, please hit the subscribe button, please tell your friends, share, share, share. And I can't thank you enough, like I say, and your pictures are absolutely stunning. So until next time, keep safe and happy snapping.